is learning to properly sequence the body as well as uh, creating rotation and power to impact. So Jason, go ahead into golf posture. Uh, there are a couple of things we need to point out with this. Once you're in posture, it's going to be a two-part exercise. The lower body is going to move first and then the upper body is going to move. And then what we need to know is that the upper body is never to move past the lower body. So go ahead and turn your hips. So this is now like hip twister. We've done that exercise and now I want you just to turn your chest to your hips. That's plenty. Hold that for a brief count and come back to middle. All right? And again, turn the hips open and then we're closing that gap. You've probably heard your, your golf coach talk about covering the golf ball. This is a great drill to learn how to cover the golf ball. It builds good sequence. It teaches your hips to open and impact. And really what we're working in the golf swing is from here to here. So we're really only working a very small part, and I want this to be a very small range of motion. Biggest mistake that I see people make, go ahead and rotate your hips, and now turn your chest like you're going to finish. This is not an exercise to finish. This is an exercise where the golf club is at your right foot, turn your hips, and go to there, and now it's at your left foot. So we think about it as a small, small exercise. This will really help with power and direction and control and timing and sequence, and this kind of puts together everything that we've done in the other exercises.